I'm always looking a certain way, okay? So I will spare you the details of how I look. So it is um, December. Sorry, my camera. My camera is not going to focus. Um, it is December 21st, um, 2 p.m. thereabout, and I'm going to the airport now. I know <laughs> it's been a while. I gave you an update. Um, you see the way I look. Hmm? I have been through the fire and I did not get burnt so basically I couldn't fly on Friday because um, there's a new immigration update that didn't allow me fly so I had to go to immigration office today basically it was Friday and my flight was 8 p.m. so I basically real I, I said basically so I realized that past uh, at past 8 that 8 p.m. what the document was and immigration closes by 5 p.m. so even if I had realized by that 5 p.m. I wouldn't by 4 p.m. if I still wouldn't have been able to make it because immigration is about one hour away from the airport so I had issues let's just put it like that i will do another video telling you what the issues are so you do not fall into such an issue like me so um i had to go through all of those things so it was friday like i said so i couldn't go to immigration so i had to go this monday morning which i did so i have all my documents now and i am going to the airport i will see you later currently in manila oh my god see this manila i'm tired the traffic in manila is too much oh boy ha e plenty from one traffic to another from one traffic to another it's like you walk you move small see this one nice moving i will show you i would have shown you guys but my camera is going to take about to focus so you see now the thing is moving 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 next thing we'll just reach another stand still then we will now move again like you now get to the one that is moving very fast next thing you land in the one that you don't even understand i can't understand this manila traffic honestly similar same thing with what um happiness said if you guys don't know happiness she has a channel um you can check her out i will put her link in the description so the same thing happiness said when she came to cebu and she was like because she's in iloilo city in, in philippines and she's like Cebu city is too much um, the traffic is too much in Cebu that's the same thing I'm saying here the traffic is too much in Manila I really do not know how these guys survive how people that school study in Manila another thing is Manila is too expensive oh my god you have a 30 minutes taxi ride and you have to pay like 500 within 300 to 500 share because and here you have you can but one of the good things is that you can bag in with the, um, the taxi before you get in like before you move instead of using meter you can bag in um, to what's the name of that thing to um, you can bargain with the taxi drivers how much you want to pay so it's not like Cebu that Cebu you just have to enter um all this stuff you just have to enter the taxi and use meter so here you can actually tell them oh this is what i have are you going or not and they're gonna go or they're gonna stay or they're gonna pick you up so one of them another thing like this taxi now um one of the things you have to do is negotiate this is let's just title this manila living one of the things you have to do is negotiate honestly I feel like if you don't have negotiation skills you can't survive in this city because I have been here for what two and a half days and <laughs> I have learned the art the art the science the basics of negotiating honestly because you have to negotiate taxi it's really taxi okay you will hear 700 for a place that a taxi driver will take you for 300 for another taxi driver will take you for 300 so I think what I've come to do is estimate the amount if i if i see that it's a 30 minutes journey what i would do is if it's 30 minutes then i would say okay i'll pay 300 anything lesser than 30 minutes journey i'm not paying 300 i don't even know if i'm just dashing them money because i am a newbie in the manila business and by the grace of god i'm gonna be out today because i can't do this it's very stressful living here honestly it's just it's crazy the life out here is crazy the traffic how much you spend on things i mean i was entering i wanted to get on a tricycle to from 
inside the streets to the junction and the man told me to bring 100 i said i don't have he said i should bring 50 i'm like so you can reduce, reduce it to 50 before anyway i didn't pay because it just felt like scam so i used that money to buy gatorade energy drink and i walked the hell to, i didn't walk the hell i walked the heaven to the junction okay so um sorry i'm like touching my nose because i have this um I don't know, since I did my COVID testing, my nose has been pinning me because I had to do another one yesterday at Chinese General Hospital because the original one I did in Cebu, not original, but the first one I did in Cebu was going to expire this morning and there was no flight for maybe this morning or something, so I couldn't have it done. I couldn't get it done this morning, plus it was even that 8 a.m. that... Um, plus it was that 8 a.m. that uh, immigration was opening, so I couldn't have possibly gone through it all i don't know there's something about me and earring see you guys i'm gonna show you guys where my earring is and it's gonna shock you this is the post where i put my coins so first of all let me open it and show you guys that i actually have an earring i've been at an a and and d yes and earring in this purse but for some reason your girl just doesn't wear it. like i had to tape it a bit pin it i had to pin it on the paper you know that paper that comes inside cloth it comes in this purse as well i had to pin it there just so that i would be wearing earrings for you guys here we are To be honest when i see people that reach out to me and tell me um i want to school in the philippines can you process admission for me in manila i'm like hmm. because you read on google you think you can navigate through the life the google tell you how the life is in manila but i just used to be like okay is manila you want to be what's my own because sometimes one of the things i I just find somehow when people come and meet me, it's like, oh, they've done all their research, all they want me to do is do what they want. And I'm like, okay. Because it's not like you're asking me for, you're not consulting me. What you're basically doing is, oh, because I have done all my research and this is what I want, I want you to just do what I want. So when I see people that reach out to me and say, oh, like one that reached out to me that one was super annoying if you're watching this it's just you just may find out that what you, what happened was annoying so this person reached out to me and said they wanted an admission in my school and i said okay i gave the person i said okay um let me get back to you on the requirements and stuff and the person next thing the person did was the person sent me um what's that stuff the person sent me um my school admission stuff that he downloaded online um school fees requirements and all those things and 95 percent of what was there was super wrong <laughs> it was wrong like even the school fees was like times four of what we pay and i was like okay is that what you want so i just kind of let the person know you see what's this thing the website is not correct so when people come to me and they come with all the i know i know it all kind of thing just do what i want um this is um i have researched this is the school this is where it's at can you do it um and stuff i'm like auntie calm down no because especially people that say i want manila i'm like okay it's what you want sometimes i ask a couple of people I've asked a couple of people, are you sure it's Manila? Because <laughs> life is expensive. Apart from the life being expensive, it's just too much. It's too much hassle, honestly. So, I don't know, Charlie, this is just a little bit of from me to you kind of talk. So, yeah. Let's just, let's just title this a chit chat about being in Manila. Honestly, I don't know. I do not know how people that are in Manila cook. If you are watching me from Manila, please let me know how you cook because it's like for every 30 minutes journey, you actually cannot find a jeepney ride or jeepney rides because I mean, okay, I don't have money to be dashing people. So 
on several attempts on different places i was supposed to go to first of all the hospital i was supposed to go to was in kizon and i'm in pasig um pasig city so i was um trying to find a jeepney route and you guys it wasn't day it didn't day so it's like you can't even attempt jeepney rides in cebu you very well can attempt jeepney rides like from where i used to live before which was the first school i attended to where immigration office is in cebu it is very very jeepney able in fact i was the one that told a lot of people this is where the jeepney is first of all you take 01k from 01k you go and take 21d and 21d goes straight to immigration and that journey on a normal day with taxi takes about 20 minutes ride and there are many far places that you can actually commute with jeepneys but for some reason in manila it's not like that so yeah that's basically just it and i don't know what people see in manila honestly because i i miss my i prefer my sebo it's just maybe you may get more international stuff which i don't even think is necessary so yeah see you guys later let's get to the airport and let's save this battery